Ryan card, October 2023, was one of the like the biggest fights of my life. Me versus Saul Poppy. It was not just a regular fight, man. It was a fight that the fans were all looking forward to, man. They called it the people's fight of the night. But it's been one whole year since then. And this upcoming fight that I got coming up is, is so big. It's so massive. Like, it's so hard to put it to work. It's the biggest fight of my career. This fight with Gib is a very big fight, man, because it's been built since 2020, literally. Me and Gib were in contract negotiations for a year, since 2020, to fight in the very first Showstar event. And it never happened, because Gib took another opportunity and said, you know? It's like four different motions to try to make this fight. Four different motions, and it always fell through, always fell through. And it's always been falling through on Gib's side. But this fight is very important. It's important because it goes back to the origin roots of influencer boxing. But ain't like regular novices putting on gloves now. We're experienced fighters now, you know? I'm 7-0 with five KOs. He's 6-1 as a fighter. The only person he ever lost to was Jake Paul. He waited for me to really dominate the space. I took over the space to the point where he can't run for me no longer. It's not, he's cornered. I got Gib cornered now. Gib knows that he's cornered. First he said he was retired. Then he said he's going to armored MMA. He's making all these excuses. It's obvious that he's been avoiding me. He knows he can't fuck with me. I mean, he knocked out Austin McBroom, but Austin McBroom is not on my level. Jarvis is nowhere near on my level. He's gonna find out how it is when you face a real skilled fighter in the boxing ring. I'm faster than ever, stronger than ever. I'm in the best physical shape of my life. People are not ready to see a whole new slim, man. It's a whole new slim, whole new hit, man. This is slim. 2.0. If any of my past opponents stood in front of me in the ring today, man, they wouldn't last more than one minute. Bro. Levels have changed and people don't understand, man. People don't understand. I've been grinding. I've been dedicated. I keep wanting to improve every single day. And that's why I see a lot of greatness in myself. That's a lot of things a lot of people don't have. You know, people are happy with the level they stay at. I'm not happy with the level I'm at. I'm, I'm willing to prove every single day. My direct message to Gib, bro. I just hope you're ready, man. It's been so long to, for this fight to happen. We're dance partners. This was meant to happen. This was destined to happen. But, you know, you've been avoiding it. You were backed into a corner. I know you had to accept this fight. I just hope you come ready. I'm gonna prove to the world why you were avoiding to fight me this whole time. Oh, blah! Oh, blah, blah! You ain't ready, boy. He ain't ready, honestly, he's not ready. I'm really gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm really gonna hurt this kid, honestly. Coming soon. I'm about to beat that ass. I'm about to beat that ass, man. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, my heart is pumping for the first time, man. And my heart doesn't pump because, bro, it's a long awaited, long awaited day, bro. The world is not gonna know what to expect tonight. They don't know what's gonna happen tonight, but it's finally gonna happen. Let's go to the moon. It's a very big moment for me, honestly, guys. If you haven't followed my journey, you know how big how big this is this means to me. So thank you all for being part of my journey. And we're gonna put on a hell of a show, I promise you. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Oh, who, want, who want next? Who want next? Tell me. Who want next? He'll probably say something like, wow, I mean you two guys. We're meant to be placed off a couple of weeks ago, unfortunately the up didn't happen. He can maybe ask KSI to pound the hand, then he's able to slim. You're back. What's the story? Now are you gonna call? Here baby. Misfits slim. We're coming for this fool. We have a message from Slim. To you. Tell him shut up and turn off that video. I don't even want to hear it. Why are you wasting my time? Let me it. see it. I want to play it for you, mm. and then you can react to it. Go. Well, right. My direct message to give, bro. I'm bored. <laughs> are you sure? I told you just I'm listen bored. To just listen to it, and then let me know what you think, okay? I'll play it, I'll play it. I just hope you're ready, man. It's been so... Yeah, I'm fucking bored! <laughs> <laughs> this is a fight that the Misfit fans have been wanting for a while. We finally got it done. There was a lot of 
hiccups and road bumps on the way, but we got the fight. Mystery opponent. I like it. I'm coming to chin him. There's Misfit's best fighter, 7 and 0. Double champ. Doesn't want to defend the belt. Gonna beat him up and let him defend his belt as the loser. You're, you're thinking you're gonna take both belts or just gonna take No, I'm not, I'm not fighting. No one wants that stinking belt. KSI gave up the belt. Slim gave up his first belt. Hasn't defended his second belt. Why would I want that dirty belt? So no, no, you can keep the fucking belt. Six, seven years of fighting. We're gonna see who's learned the most in those seven years. I believe my resume is supreme to his as debuties have taken him life and death. His best credible wins are coming off people coming off of a loss. Do you rate any of his opponents in the past? Tell me which one? Ryan Taylor 0 and 4? Ryan Taylor 0 and 4? Debuty Tom Zanetti? Who's the other one? Uh, face Temper never had his hand raised in the ring when he faced him. Soul Pappy, 30 pound, weight drained, coming off a loss. So, which, which one do you want to point out? It's two weeks into your camp. I know you're training hard. You're, getting, you're doing your sprints. Can you match the cardio of Gibber? Yes, no, I'm gonna fucking land on your chin, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, yo, Kim! Hey, yo, Kim! 